Hi guys, so Jelena has been in touch about the ambient occlusion mask and it seems that in the latest version of V-Ray Next the render mask plugin isn't working and rendering um, the ambient occlusion mask. So I'm just going to try that out first. I'm going to make sure I've got everything selected, Control A, and I've got ambient occlusion selected here. I'm just going to hit render mask. And that isn't working. So what we can do is do it manually and we can do that by creating our own ambient occlusion material. So let's close render mask. I'm going to create a V-Ray Dirt and I'm going to plug that into a V-Ray Light material. And these defaults should all work fine. You can change the radius if you like. And I'm going to open up our render settings. And in V-Ray, on the global switches, there's an override material. I'm going to turn that on. And I'm going to drag our light material into here as an instance. And just to see how this is working, I'm going to use interactive. And we can see what's going to happen. All right, so it's really bright at the moment. So I'm going to pull this down to 0.1. And we can see that's starting to work. So if you are getting these really black areas, um, it's probably due to flipped faces. So we can go into the model. And take a look at this. And that's because this is only one sided. So I think the best way to solve that, you can see that if I select that face, we can see it through here. Um, we need to add some depth to that. So we can add a shell modifier, which will give it some thickness. And we literally need like 0.1 on there. You can see what it's doing, it's making it grow a little bit but it will also, I mean, you could make it put, uh, 0.1, so it's barely noticeable. But then when I select this, they're both facing out. So we go back to our camera and unhide all. And now I'll give that a render. This light should all be white. And there we go, that's much better. If you are getting these, then you just need to go through and clean your model up a little bit. And we can also exclude the glass. Our glass is named glass, which is handy. We can go to V-Ray and in the global switches, we've got this override material on and we can exclude glass by selecting it and clicking it over here. If you follow these steps, that's how you can get an ambient occlusion mask. And in the same vein, with the render mask, um, if you want to render your wire color, by hit Control A and select everything and try and render that mask, I don't think that's working either. And as Jelena quite rightly pointed out, if we switch our render engine to Scanline, we'll be able to do that. So in the render setup. 
we can switch it to scan line. And now if we try and render this mask, it's going to render our wire color. So that's how we can get around rendering these masks for the time being until that gets fixed.